All right, Joe, the next question we have, the next caller we have is Adam from Georgia. Adam, can you hear us okay? Uh, yes, can you hear me okay? We can. How are you doing today? Uh, good, good. I just uh, have applied your guys' methods best I could. Uh, mm -hmm. Really feel like I don't do a great job, but then I think I am doing an okay job. She's responded. It was kind of had a breakthrough this weekend. She, um, I told her uh, right before Christmas, she told me she had feelings for another man, and I believe she revealed the O-N, you know, the other man, and mm -hmm. I quit speaking to her because of that and missed Christmas and caused a lot of pain in my family. Yeah. I had a bad advisor uh, outside of a marriage helper who advised me not to go to Christmas because of the news, and I, and I think it was a very bad decision. Mm. Um, well, so so I broke the ice thanks to uh, Jared, your marriage coach. He encouraged me to, with his teaching, and um, I, she asked me after, uh, after about a, a week, you know, why are you talking to me again? And I said, I'm stronger, mm. and Good. I want to know, know. I want to know about your life, and and I said, I don't, you know, I don't like that. You, you feel this way for another man. I, I want you to feel that way for me, but I accept mm -hmm. it, and, and and I'm ready to to listen. And uh, wow. And when I said when I said I didn't like it, she said, "Well, then maybe we should just stay casual in our friendship, whatever." And, and I said, "Don't make me casual." But so I thought, well, that went badly. Well, but then this weekend, she just kind of unloaded on me, and she got very uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. And she she said she can't. And she said, "I'm confused." Like referring to me and this other man that she's confused she mm -hmm. let me know that he, he doesn't like her hanging out with me mm. um <laughs> and uh all of this was surprising you know i mean she's mm -hmm. not told me anything really about him outside that she had feelings for him and, and she worked yeah. with him yeah and then she suddenly goes why are you so perfect now I mean, why didn't you do this in our marriage yeah. and you know she didn't trust my changes you know she um said, how can I heal if I'm hanging out with you so much? We spent probably between Friday and Sunday, we, I bet we spent 30 hours together. Excellent. The grandkids were older. And yeah, well, we, we've we been doing that, see, but there, you know, there's no sex and she, we're just friends. And I'm going to start dating in, in, you know, next month. And, and I got feelings for this other guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to go off at moments and get, and get away and, and weep. And then I come back and act like I'm okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, but you know, she says, you know, how can we, I heal if I'm hanging out with, you? um, and then in that same conversation, this is all in one conversation. She said, and she's hit me with this before, you know, she said, you know, I'm not capable of loving anyone. I, I'm not capable of commitment, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and then she said, you just want expect me to go back. And I said, no, I don't. And Jared told me to say, no, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go back, you know? And, and I accept, you know, that we're just friends. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I'm sorry to hit you with so much, but you know, she, she says, you know, why are you so perfect? How can she heal and see me? Mm -hmm. you know, how can she get over the divorce and still see me? Mm -hmm. And she isn't capable of loving anyone. Those are the questions I had. How do I respond? I don't know how to respond to those. Okay. Just accept, just listen. Um, if, if you were to say things like, you know, someday I wish that you could feel that way about me, that's actually okay. Okay, but the thing that Jared's teaching, I'm sure, because Jared's very good and he works with us and we think quite highly of Jared. The thing is you don't do things that make the other person feel they've been manipulated or pressured, but you can be honest about what you feel. That's okay. And the fact that she's continuing to spend time with you, even though she's saying things that sound contradictory to that, such as, how can I heal if I spend time with you? Oh, by the way, I'm gonna wind up dating other people even though I spent 30 hours with you. I'm incapable of love even though I'm actually spending a lot of time with you. Understand that when a person's in a situation like this, try not to react to any one thing, he or she says, even if they say that thing uh, repeatedly because sometimes it's in their own minds. They're trying to figure out, how do I deal with what I'm doing? How do I deal with what I'm thinking? How do I deal with what I'm feeling? And often the things they say will be contradictory, even though they themselves may not recognize how contradictory it is. It sounds to me, my friend, like you're doing all the right things. Mm -hmm. And when she says those things, you actually don't have to respond at all. You can just nod your head and, and be warm and friendly if that's what you wanna do. Or you can say things like, I understand. I saw a woman actually lead her husband back and, and rescue him from the relationship he was in years ago by saying things like, I understand how you feel. I accept the fact that you feel that way. I pray that someday you feel that way about me. And she put no pressure on him at all. 
And he wound up spending more and more time with her. And he actually said to me the same thing your wife just said to you. He said, I'm confused. And I said, why are you confused? He said, the only two people that understand me are that woman I'm involved with and my wife. And my wife's becoming my best friend. So it will be a period of confusion, but man, I'm listening to what you're saying and going, okay, I understand you have to get off sometimes and weep. I get it. I do understand that. But Adam, I'm saying, man, what I'm hearing here is very strong mm -hmm. and I'm glad you're doing that. So keep doing what you're doing. Just you want to make sure you don't come across as manipulative, controlling that kind of thing, begging, whining, pleading, that kind of, kind of thing, but you're not doing that. And just let things kind of evolve because if she's spending that kind of money with you, it sounds like you're reestablishing the relationship, even if she thinks she doesn't want to. Does that sound that way to you, Kimberly? Am I, you're hearing the same kind of thing I'm hearing in this? I am. I'm more of what I'm hearing than anything, Adam, is that you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to find the right phrases no. or the right words that are going to yes. fix things or bring her back. And that's again, just to mirror what Joe was saying, that's not what's going to work here. What's going to work here is a consistent time after time, conversation after conversation for weeks and months at a time of her seeing you've changed, you're a safe place, you're accepting of her. That is the magic bullet that you're looking for here. So you're doing okay, it. You're, yeah, I, I you are doing that. it. That's very good insight, Ms. Kimberly. Yeah, yeah I, I do. Okay, my friend, so it's not the magic word. It's just being consistent in what mm -hmm. you're doing and just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. If, if anything works, that will. Mm -hmm. And it sure sounds to me like it's working, my friend, even mm -hmm. though sometimes it's like... And so listen, mm -hmm. and, and, and listening and asking questions, uh, I guess just when mm -hmm. you win in doubt, just listen and, yeah. and, and get her talking. Okay. Yes, <laughs> there you go, that buddy. is exactly you got right. It. <laughs> Excellent, very good. I'm All impressed, right. young man, very yes. impressed. All right, well, thanks guys for your time. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> And that was a pretty sharp on your part, Kimberly. Well, he was a he's a good person to listen to because he's he's got it. Mm -hmm. He's got it and he's implementing it. And that is encouraging when we run across those people when we find Yeah, them. but but you actually saw what was going on there. He, oh, well. He's looking for that magic phrase and somehow I missed that and you got it. So <laughs> kudos to you. Uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know why you're so surprised. That's, but... I guess that's why, that's why I work for you, right? Okay. Okay, very good. No, that's good.